So I ordered this uh, voltmeter from Breton Performance Engineering. I found uh, I found the sale page on Facebook, uh, and uh, they've got two different versions. We've got one where it's got a rougher finish, and then this one where it's smoother. And then I think he's giving it a paint job as well. Um, there they are. Um, made the order so it takes about a week before you can ship it out but once he shipped it out um, it came from puerto rico i got it in less than a week so it's basically just gonna pop right into here and then you uh you know ground the black wire and hook the red wire up to to a wire that is live only when the car is on so i'm gonna go ahead and um pop this off and then install it and I'll show you where I wired it up. Uh, for pulling this off, it's really easy. Um, I don't recommend using a screwdriver. Uh, if you have a, a plastic panel popper tool, use that instead so you don't scratch the plastic up. But um, the trick is I'll, I'll come in down underneath the, this corner here and lift it up oh, oh, and it popped out. Now I'm at the advantage of the fact that I've popped this out a bunch of times so it came out really easy. But normally you want to pop the bottom off and then you can kind of pry it out. For the, this clip on the top right is the hardest one. Uh, usually the trick is to get underneath it here and kind of pull this way instead of pulling up this way to get it out. Um, but if you try to pull it this way so it's trying to come out straight, it'll come out easier. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead uh, and pop this piece out here, pop this one in, and then figure out where to hook it up on here so that it works. All right, so I haven't installed it yet um, because it, it is sitting higher um, than it should on here. I'm gonna file it down um, so that it sits a little bit more flush. Now I was able to slide this out. Um, basically, this is actually the direction it's gonna go in so that the wires are coming out on the right. Um, but it just slides out. Slides out the side here. Um, now the if you don't actually, you know, trim it down, the side of the uh, the white will show. So I've actually taken some uh, permanent marker and, and ran it across the the edges here. That way, um, if it does show some of that white, it won't actually show the white. It'll it'll be black. All right. So, but this is what it looks like. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sand it down and trim it. I'm gonna use the blank that I popped out um, to assist me to figure out how much to trim. And then we'll uh, see if I can make this fit more flush. All right, I'm done doing the necessary modifications to make it fit. Um, the two things that I had to do was uh, there was a piece of plastic that bridged uh, across the back of here, and it's about an eighth of an inch tall, um, but it was preventing this from being pushed all the way in so that these tabs actually you know, went past and would clip it in place. So I used a uh, Dremel cutoff wheel at about half speed and used it to trim down so that... Uh, when I remove that plastic, this plastic terminates uh, just at the same level as the back of the voltmeter itself. Um, that allows it to go all the way in. Um, I also had to trim the sides here um, so that they were uh, the same width as the actual voltmeter itself as well. Otherwise, it was too wide. Top and bottom was fine, just the, the left and right was a little bit too wide. But if you look there, you can see where I've trimmed back about a millimeter um, and then left, left a little lip on the front as well. So once you do that, this piece will fit in perfectly. Um, I did a couple of other things as well. Um, I got rid of the, the shiny finish on here so that it matches the matte black of the rest of the buttons by doing a wet sand starting with 600 grit um, sandpaper and then 1000 grit. So it actually looks pretty nice here. Um, if you do it and you end up seeing too much of kind of the, uh, the 3D um, print lines from you know, from the plastic being extruded. You can actually take some Plasti dip and just give it a light spray and that will also have the same sort of a matte finish to match the rest of the, the car. Um, one other thing here is um, I put a piece of automotive tint on the front of the, of the uh, voltmeter itself. I peeled back the protective clear plastic because it had a lot of a shine on it and I put a, the tint on there. And that way I could mute down the, uh, the brightness at night and then I took a piece of invisible scotch tape and stuck it on top of that so that it wouldn't glare in the sun because if you look right now like I've got it shining in the sun but there's no glare because of the uh, the invisible scotch tape on there and then uh, the last thing I did was I replaced the wire on the back of it here with a uh, two pin wire that I have so that I can just plug it in all right so let me show you where I have it wired up now so here's the other two pin wire this is the 
the wiring harness for the mirror. The last two wires um, are white with a black stripe, and that's the negative wire, and then a gray wire, and that's the positive. That's only um, live when the power is, uh, when the car's on. Um, so basically, I, I back probed this into the back of the harness there. Then I wrapped just the four wires with electrical tape and then zip tied it so that way it won't move. And this works great because it doesn't require me to actually have to cut into the car harness. Um, and it gives it, you know, sufficient power um, without any problems. All right, I'm going to go ahead, stop the camera here, and then plug everything in and turn it on. As you can see, uh, now that I've gotten rid of the shine on here, it does blend in with the other uh, black buttons better. And it's definitely sitting in there a lot more flush. So I'll go ahead and just turn the uh, car on. And you can clearly see the display. So, and then if I start the car up... Yep. So I hope that this video helps you out if you're trying to decide on getting this or not. Um, I, I will definitely say don't feel discouraged by the fact that you do have to do a little bit of work to, to actually make it look as nice as I, as I have mine here. It's only going to take 15 to 20 minutes to do, um, and I don't know where else you can find a voltmeter that's just going to fit right into here. I mean, I even looked on the, on Thingiverse, uh, and I didn't see any um, you know 3D patterns for something like this at least. So go ahead, pick it up from uh, from the link below. Uh, and then just follow the video to to uh, you know trim it down so it'll fit in your proper. All right, thanks for watching.